It's a pity Tim Miller isn't really remembered as a game company, considering how awesome that intro is. That was the most rad intro we've had, I think. That was awesome. Okay. So we're playing to game. Yeah, we're playing today a game called Masters of the Elements, another obscure game from the '90s, which no one apparently played but me. So let's yeah. get right on this. I do have a theory that you were just raised in an alternate universe where they made more of these games, because just never heard of them, man. I remember once talking to some mates and explaining the shows I used to watch as a kid, and none of them had been heard by anybody. Yeah. So, good times. Yeah. So, the very first thing we do is we need to turn on the lights, and we can hear someone snoring in the background. Why can't you let me sleep? What are you doing here anyway? If you've come to play, you have to go above ground. That's where the warlocks live. Hm. Very odd folk. They could use your help. Yeah, but you won't get in with that silly cursor. Perhaps you can put this glove on. Is that a... Wow, you have to dress your cursor? <laughs> yep. I've never See, seen that before. That looks a lot better, but you're not finished yet. If you're only used to clicking, you won't get very far. If you want to come closer, you'll have to point. Give it a try. Keep pressing your mouse button, move the mouse forwards. So this is kind of a weird motion to get used to the first time, but you kind of hold it down and then you can drag into the distance. That wasn't so hard, now was it? You can zoom in. Take a step back. Did okay. you see that? Your glove was trying to give you a clue. Later, you'll see that it will always try to help you. Keep your mouse button pressed and move to the left. The book will open, just like a real book. So we're a mysterious entity with a magic hand that's trying to help us. Mm hmm. Okay. Take, yeah, take book. Why not? Why is there a bowl here? Greetings, visitor. Welcome to the country ruled by the masters of the elements. It is a country full of surprises. A friendly country that is fortunately not too big. From the castle of infinity on the peak of the highest mountain, the masters of the elements are responsible for time, gravity, electricity, Warmth, light, and chance. Each master has a magic ring that controls each of these forces that keep our land in balance. Use your eyes and take the time to look around. Listen well to my advice because I know what I'm talking about. Something is wrong. My cat has vanished and all the masters are helping me look for it. But they can't remember what their real jobs are. The magic rings have been left lying around at the castle and are losing their power, throwing the forces of nature off balance. We need someone to help us. Are you brave enough, are you clever enough to solve the mystery of the missing cat? Then follow me. Enter the story and let the adventure begin. Sometimes you have to help someone before they help you. Good luck. Thank goodness the mole sent us here. This sounds horrible. <laughs> We've got things to do. Oh, there we go. I found one. So, you know, the five elements. Gravity, chance, electricity. <laughs> Seems there are a few more. There's like warmth and time. I, yep, time. time's definitely an element. Yeah. Science. Anyway, there's gravity for you. Maybe, yeah. So, welcome to the Master of Gravity's rooms. Huh. Now, first things first. Where'd you throw that? I don't know. <laughs> I think I need to throw it to the left. Hey! Wow, you threw it really far. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, that's... That was a clover there for a second. It's extremely important that we do that. Okay. <laughs> okay, you're balancing it. So the game doesn't really give you much context for anything. Well. It's extremely hard. There was a trick I used to do as a child where you could kind of just keep spamming the mouse cursor like this. You you are succeeding, but what are you succeeding at and why? I'm not entirely sure how to explain this, but we need to gather clovers. Okay. The game never ever tells you about this. Okay. And if you don't gather the clovers, the end of the game is impossible. I see. So that's kind of unfortunate. These masters don't seem very masterful if they forgot what their jobs are. I don't think this actually counts unless you hold it consistently. Yeah. 
Are you, is this getting a clover right here? This is getting a clover right here. Well, this is a terrible start. <laughs> well, if you want to see how terrible this gets, you've also got to do it with a pencil. Oh, so... <laughs> come on! Are you going to get all the clovers? You don't have to get all of them, just about half of them. Wow. This is one of the easier ones. Anyway, I might have to go and do this off screen, depending on how badly this attempt oh, goes. Can I try? Yeah, if you like. Yeah. Um, just, oh, you lost the horse. Oh, no, it's thrown back. Thankfully, there's some kind of invisible force that always froze. Give it back. Give me the... No, I just want to... You can't just drag it. You have to try balancing it whenever you want to move it. God damn it, it's stuck over here, though. There we go. Ah! Okay. I'm just trying to start. <laughs> damn you. Damn you, horse! Okay, enough of that. The master of gravity loves paintings. He paints a bit himself, but he doesn't call it that. He's terribly modest. That's crayon. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. He likes wow. the Mistress of Light's paintings. Beautiful, charming, beguiling, he says. But does he mean the paintings or the painter? And she can explain it so prettily. It's all about looking with color, she says. Typical artists talk. Why can't she just say what she means? So, now we have a portal, which if we follow it, will take us to the Mistress of Light's room. So, gravity likes light. Mm-hmm. Well, if anyone can make her fall for him. <laughs> now, I don't know if you saw it there, but there's actually a page up there right. which we need to get to. Okay. Every single one of these rooms has a hidden page, and that is the most important part of all this. Okay. So, the only clue they give oh, you wow. regarding getting this page is that you need to help someone before they help you. And the only person we can help here is this lovely blue glove, who will be accompanying us for the rest of the adventure. Unfortunately, bowling with a mouse, like juggling rather. Um, <laughs> you can't get that one on the end. There you go. Come on. Ah, no. If you're unlucky, you'll throw it off screen like I do and then you're going to be in for a bit of a problem. But we just need to kind of keep faffing about and doing this for a while. Okay. So, so impressions it's this of... kind of puzzle game. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, yeah, you got it. No! Like it's based upon dexterity rather than thinking. Wow. I can see why this would be something a kid would be better at, though, because kids are like... All right. It's something where you can kind of spam solutions in a couple of ways. Ah, oh, come Aha! on! So someone has thrown an Egotus. Oh, and good. that egg is also a portal to the Master of Warmth's room. Of course it is. But was right now, that's not important. Was Master of Fire too aggressive or something that they couldn't do it? He's like, no, Master of Warmth and Sunshine and Desolation. Let's see if I can get this right first time. Nope. Not close. Oh, I see. <laughs> so there is the mysterious page. And it's very hard to miss the first time you do this. But... <laughs> Somehow, buddy, you've managed it. Okay, about there. Should be just enough. Oh, oh wow. It's a harsh one. I managed to miss it twice. Mm -hmm. Well, that's it. I failed at a children's game. I'm just going to have to resign from not, everything. Not first time. <laughs> we are not good at children's games. Okay, so I'd say we're no. not good at 90s children's games. Yeah, hey, you got it. There we are. Woo! I, the master of chance, am the only one who doesn't live in the castle. There's my house. Look, in the garden. Follow the path that crosses the pond. But don't get ahead of yourself. First, you must know what you're supposed to do. So, that's kind of a clue that we can't actually go there right now. Okay. Once we find all the hidden pages, the Master of Chance's awesome lake house will be open, and as you can see, there's the clover we collected earlier. Okay. So, I'm gonna have one more attempt at this. Yeah. Good. Hold on. Something I think I can do if I'm lucky. Did you just kind of throw it? No. You can throw it and catch it again, I guess. <laughs> we. Yeah. <laughs> no. No. Ah, it's kind of hard to get it, but if you're very lucky, it doesn't actually tip. I, 
had to get it on the left side of the room when I did this earlier. He has a glitch you can sometimes get where it just doesn't fall, and you can just hold it there for ages. Okay. This is a very specific memory of this game. <laughs> well, I did it earlier is... while testing the recording. Oh, right. Ah, this is so frustrating. Ah, it's completely fine. I've got another save file with the clover on it if necessary. <laughs> <laughs> Such hacks. Indeed. Um, okay. So we got a plane. Okay, let's just wind this up. In the other direction. You feel like you're getting a lot of resistance from the mouse as you do this, but it's just the cursor gets a bit stuck. <laughs> Off it goes. Load. Now. The master of time's favorite animal is the cuckoo in the clock. A flying timepiece. He wants so badly to be a bird and build a nest of his own, but he never learned how. Watch him fly. Whenever he has time, he tries to build a nest. He tries his best, but doesn't know what to do. His nest's sure to collapse again. The twigs are falling. Fuel for the train so it can gather steam. Thank you, Cuckoo. It's like a really weird, like, triple haiku or something. Mm hmm So, because time currently is, well, out of flux because, unfortunately, everyone is looking for the Master of Chance's cat, it's up to us to reactivate it. Now, before we do anything else, let's take the alarm handle of this and set it to the page. Because this plant over here is going to grow up to the ceiling. Uh -huh. And up there is a page which we can get a very specific time. Okay. So you got that there. Uh huh. Up here is another secret area. The higher you climb, the further you fall, says the Master of Gravity. Yes, yes, and the further you fall, the longer it takes, says his father, the Master of Time. The son thinks hard. He pauses and says, the longer it takes, the harder you fall. But the Master of Time always has the last word. The harder you fall, the higher someone else can fly. And he points to the seesaw. Don't try that at home, kids. So, not so subtle clue about how to find the page in that room. Yeah. Okay, back to this one. I find it's easier just to usually flick through the books rather than go through and do things right. any other way. I'm so lost. Like, where are we right now? It's a tr okay. Okay, let's put as many of these on here as we can on the train. Uh huh. Ooh, okay. I'd love to try and explain this to you, but it's really, really silly. Oh, no, I remember the poem saying the nest fuels the train. Okay. Let's oh. try and get this in sync with that. Well, it starts off out of sync. Now, if I've done this correctly, I should get it just right. Nope. Oh, it's a little too fast there. Okay, so let's turn it off. And then turn it back on again. That is a massive fire hazard for the train. <laughs> is that oil or water? Uh, that is water. Ah, okay. Water fills up this thing, and you need to get that just right for when the train comes round. I see. Otherwise, you are going to be in trouble. Yes. It's not an ideal system, I'm afraid. Turn the time again. I'm not even sure if that qualifies as a pun on your part. No. No, it doesn't. Okay. Nope. There we go. Might do it. Nope, too late. We didn't get enough logs in. So the ideal situation is you get three logs into this thing so that you can send it round three times and then better sync up the railway track. Yeah. It's kind of a fussy game, really. Yeah, you don't say. Okay, right now the track is... amazingly out of sync, so let's pause that for one, two... Three. Done it! Ooh. 